we go. So this is uh, your second time in two years at uh, Rocky Nidro. You really must love us, guys. Yeah, we love it here. It's great. I don't know what's not to love. You get to go to Italy, great food, great crowds. But this is not exactly the same thing that we did last time. Rocky Nidro, this is like, is, that, is Rocky Nidro happening this weekend? And this is sort of the warm up to it. Well, it's not really going to be the warm up now that we're playing. The rest of the weekend is going to feel kind of lame. It was a bad move putting us here. We, they should have put us late on Saturday or something. Because now it's like everybody's going to have to live up to this. <laughs> no, yeah, we're, we're going to do uh, at least one new of the new songs. Um, sometimes we're, we're doing two. It depends on, you know, I don't know what our, what our, what our length of or we're allowed to play tonight. And then a bunch of old stuff, some of the, you know, big radio hits that everyone knows, some of the more rocking stuff that doesn't get radio play, you know, as much. So a little bit of everything. And uh, how do you feel when you're on stage? I feel great when I'm on stage. That's about the only time I really feel great when I'm touring, because touring takes, takes a lot out of you. It's, it's tiring, but I always feel great on stage. That's what keeps us going. And do you remember your first concert at The Offspring? Uh, yes, I do. Yeah, um, I think they had played a couple of parties before I actually joined, or you know, one or two parties. But our first real gig was up in Santa Cruz at this place called uh, Club Culture, um, and we drove up and we played with like White Flag was playing that night. Um, um, White Flag. What was the other band? This band that did. A, oh God! This band that did a cover of Born to Be Wild, and the singer was a uh, pitcher baseball pitch. I can't remember the name of the band. Anyways, we, we played there the first night and then the next day we did uh, an afternoon in um, in uh, San Francisco at a, a legendary club, punk club called the Mabuhay Gardens. And we got to play there before it closed down because it didn't last much longer than that. It's so far and what do you think? I think it's great. I mean, I've never been here. I think the bands that they have on the bill are great. Uh, I think the weather so far has been amazing, which goes a long way when it's nice and sunny and you feel good, you know, having sun on your face. But no, I, I love Italy. I, I'm from Toronto in Canada, and a lot of my friends are Italian guys. Um, so I always, yeah, I always text them an email and say, I'm in the motherland. I'm here. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. No, I, yeah, it feels very natural to, for me to come to Italy. I like it. Yeah. Check, check, check. Waga 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 waga. Check. Waga waga waga. Okay. So, hi guys, and what coming in Italy? <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> How do you feel for uh, your performance of tonight? I'm excited to get into it. It's our first show of the tour, so you know we just got here, so just excited to get going. You know, get this tour started. Are you playing the new songs of? Uh, yeah, like three or four, three or four of them, yeah. Yeah. Probably four. Yeah, we got 40, 45 minutes. 40. So probably three. Ah, four, let's do four. Yeah. It's a new record we're Let's do four. Yet. We're gonna do four. I don't know. <laughs> we're ready, I'm all rested up and ready to play. And uh, how many times did you perform in Italy? On this tour? Yeah. Uh, this will be the... Uh, I hope it's 